Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here And in today's video, I've got five autographs through the mail, TTMs I'm going to open up um, a nice piece of friend mail and we're also going to open up another pack of 20, 23 tops. As always, we'll start with the TTM. The first one is from Seattle, Washington. And we've got Bill Kruger. He signed 4 of 4 in 11 days. He had a career record of 68 and 66 with a 4.35 ERA. He played 13 years. Appeared in 301 games. He played from 83 to 95. And he played with Oakland, Los Angeles, Milwaukee, Seattle, Minnesota, Montreal, Detroit, and San Diego. Um, his best year was in 1991 when he went 11 and 8 with a 3.60 ERA. That is Bill Kruger. All right, our second return is from Jacksonville, Florida. We have got Mike Prawley. He signed three of three in 11 days. He had a career record of 22 and 29 with a 3.23 ERA. He played seven years, appeared in 267 games. He played from 76 to 83, and he played with St. Louis, the Cubs, Phillies, and White Sox. Mike Prawley. All right, next I'm going to show you um, the the friend mail I got, it is from Mr. Michael Ivey, and he sent me some Orioles from the Michael Ivey collection. He sent me this stack of Orioles right here. I'm going to show you what all we got. We have got a Miguel Tejada, 1980 Belanger, Pat Kelly. We got Steve Stone, Tom Underwood, Todd Cruz, Sammy Stewart, Dan Ford, Lee Lacey, Kevin Hickey, Tim Hewlett, with Tim Raines stealing second, Steve Cars Carsoni, Glenn Davis, we got Brian Roberts, and back to Miggy. But the big card that he sent me is a Project 2020. And we have got, look at that beauty. Ben Baller did this card. Orioles, Cal Ripken. That is awesome. That is a sweet looking card right there. Thank you very much, Mr. Michael Ivey. We'll put that up on the stand. That is a sweet card. All right, next up from Santa Ana, California. We have got Joe Sambito. He signed four of four in 10 days. He had a career record of 37 and 38 with a 3.03 .03 ERA. He also had 84 saves. He played 11 years, appeared in 461 games. He played from 76 to 87. And he played with Houston, the Mets, and the Red Sox. He was an All Star in 1979. In that year, he went 8 and 7 with a 1.77 ERA. And 22 saves. 
Again, that is Joe Sambito. All right, moving along. Our next return is from is also from Jacksonville, Florida. And we have got Swervin Irvin, Ernie Irvin. There are two here. This is points seven and eight in the TTM challenge. Um, Tony Glover does not sign. He was the crew chief for Ernie Irvin. So I sent both cards to Ernie Irvin. He signed them both. So again, point seven and point eight. Ernie Irvin signed two of two in 12 days. In 1998, he was voted or yeah, he was voted as one of the 50 greatest NASCAR drivers of all time. He was inducted into the Stock Car Hall of Fame in 2002. He raced in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series for 12 years. He appeared in 313 races. He had 15 wins, 124 top 10s, 22 poles. He won the 1991 Daytona 500. And in 1994, during practice in Michigan, he had a terrible, terrible wreck. It was so bad, they gave him a 10% chance of survival. That was in 1994. And he came back from that and raced until 1999. So that is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. That is Ernie Irvin. All right, next up, we're going to open up this pack of 2023. We're looking for something really good. We haven't had anything really, really good yet. We have got JJ Blade. We have Kendall Graveman. We have got Corey Seeger, Tristan McKenzie, Styx, Cal Raleigh, Tyler McGill. We got a Riley Green rookie, Sean Murphy. We got a Greatest Hits, Freddie Freeman. Raphael Devers, Stars of MLB. Brandon Hughes, Ronald Acuna Jr., Blake Snell, and Lennon Sosa. So again, not a great pack. All right, our last return is from San Diego, California. And we have got Charles Nagy. He signed 404 in 12 days. He had a career record of 129 and 105 with a 4.51 ERA. He played 14 years. He appeared in 318 games. He played from 90 to 03. He played with Cleveland and the last five games of his career with the Padres. He was a three-time All-Star. He was an All-Star in 92, 96, 99. He won 17 games each of those years. In 1996 was his best year. He went 17 and five with a 3.41 ERA. He also finished fourth in the Cy Young voting that year. Three times he finished in the top seven in Cy Young. He is in the Guardians Hall of Fame, and he is the only pitcher to have a hit in the All-Star game during the designated hitter area. Designated, the designated hitted, hitter era. And that was back in 1992. Charles Nagy. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.